seems like over the tournament, over those first two weeks, that was the formula where Derek turns up and gets 25, 30 kills. They win the game. If he doesn't, they lose. And coming into this series, he's certainly been alive. Yeah, he's been playing well. I, I mean, I think... Well, I, I'm trying to think if, you know, Papachulo did pretty decently. Wits, again, having a decent game. Uh, I don't want to talk about Jaw because the only thing I'm really going to be able to talk about is the Molotov play that we saw. Um, well, unfortunate for him. But I think it'll still, still be a tough one. Divine Vendetta maybe can you know, get some more experience again. They're already through the playoffs, so it's not a big deal if they lose this game. It's just about who they're going to meet up in their first match. But get some experience on this map a little bit more and maybe finally get that victory, right? You know, same thing for Vici. You've been struggling to, to beat Tai Lu for, for how long now? And just getting that win win alone might be enough to like break the curse for him. Same here now for the uh, boys from the Middle East. He's going to be hopping in. Bren going to be on the T side. And it looks like Divine Vendetta will be starting off on the CT side. Well, Marhaban to Inferno. We're ready to go as Bren on the terror side. They've got a 1 to 0 advantage in maps. Not live. No. I think it's not live. It's not live? Is it not? I mean, with the way that they're running back in spawn, I didn't think it would be. Okay. No, Maybe it looks it is. like looks like they're playing this one out. Yeah, there's a aggression in towards middle. The fight's going the way of Divine Vendetta to start it. Ja also getting lit up through the wall to flash around the corner. Lights tight, but he tucks in and then comes out for the kill to leave a 2v4 in the hands of Pro and Derek. Pro with a smoke and no armor. Well, Derek's got himself a little bit of Kevlar. Now look, oh no. They're trying to fight it together on long, but Derek, the player with the armor, gets lit through that smoke. A quick headshot onto him. And Pro, he might even be able to get a bomb plant if he's lucky up behind that box. He's going to go for it. He's sticking it on it. No, he didn't get it. Must have been 0.1 of a second away from it. But unfortunately, no bomb plant for Divine or for Bren as Divine Vendetta went out the pistol. And we're on Inferno, so I expect to see lots of SMGs. I'm I'm expecting that first round to not count actually, because now we're into a tech pause, which means to me that they said not live before any damage was dealt, which is why I was saying yeah even Ren losing a player. Hmm. I mean they played it out as if it was live on both teams, not just uh, Divine Vendetta. So I don't know. Yeah, not sure. We'll find out. Obviously, just have to wait for. Uh to be told any information unless it does get relayed i mean obviously if you're brand that's not the way you want to start things out especially if you you know we're having an issue it was typically the one uh divine vendetta that was actually having the problem as we saw uh you know with uh problems connecting the client yeah well in the first map it was them certainly throughout a lot of the tournaments so far they've been having some some issues Obviously, connecting in from the furthest away from the servers, uh, for the most part. So we had an update that's actually uh, voice issue or voice calm issues, which I, I think I was saying yesterday. It, it like amazes me how often that happens. Yeah, I've it never. It also seems like most like the most generic reason for something. Yeah, Teamspeak issues. <laughs> All right, I've never had an issue with. TeamSpeak or Discord. Maybe once or twice you get like a, a Discord problem and you just have to change the server location and you're good. But there you go. We're back in. It looks like the round is definitely going to be counted as they come in taking an eco. No. Hopefully everything is good to go. And we're seeing the three SMGs picked up for Divine Vendetta. So for their sake, it'd be nice to be able to. Lock down a lot of these kills with those weapons. We'll be up against the AKs in the next. Better actually slowly making their way up in towards the middle. The bomb is seen back towards T stairs, however. As Maltov comes in, as Ezrum's just gonna hold them back as they're gonna retreat, rejoin. And Pokemon, I mean, he's in the perfect position to farm up cash here. Hope they had his way. Brent have already cost them quite a bit of money, and it's being farmed back there by Pokemon. Two players in underpass, so if he goes towards this, that's easy money being made, and there you go. A 4k. Lots of cash on that MP9. And for Divine Vendetta, they did use up pretty much all their utility in that previous round, so that's what I'm saying about Brent have already caused quite a bit of damage in that sense. 
plus the kill that they issue. Now a tech pause. And another one. I'm dropping like flies. I mean, if, if it's calm issues again, I think they should just get a, a new server, you know? Only so many times you want to <laughs> stop, uh, you know, stop playing, stop the pace. Yeah, good amount of money built up for Divine Vendetta off of that. Going into the bonus round, we're expecting to see Bren pick up the AKs. I mean, we could be doing tic-tac-toe again if you wanted to redeem yourself from earlier on. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, there we go. I'll start top right. Oh, you, why are you assuming you're starting? Jeez. I don't know. I'm going first, bro. What you mean? Mm, let's go bottom left then. Let's go for that strat. Let's go bottom middle. What? It's fine. It's fine. We're good. We, we top, remember the last Top sorry. left. It's a, it's a tie anyways. He's making it extra small <laughs> so it doesn't lose the... <laughs> and we could do Hangman. Hey tie. Oh, okay. I think Hangman's hey a little bit rough. Well, it would have to be very, very small. <laughs> Give us your yeah. finest piece. Okay, draw. We'll do Pictionary. Draw something for us, and then we have to guess what it is. It's a house on a cliff? Yeah. Oh, okay. Suck it, Mitch. <laughs> Do, 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 a car. Do, do, do. What? <laughs> Come on. I mean, I was going to say car. I just wanted you to draw a little bit more. I want to see these fine art skills. Oh. Looks like it's it's back. Boulder. Mitch. Unhappy fit. Alien. Son. Son. Mitch bragging about winning one match for the rest <laughs> of his life. Son. Easy. Easy wins. It right, looks like the round's going to kick off. The AK is coming through. Utility going to be a little bit light, though, for Bren. And again, bonus round for Divine Vendetta. <laughs> what was that? Was that a thumbs up? That was a love heart. What's wrong with you, James? How was that a heart? Are you what kidding me? What do you mean? Was that a heart? It, it if didn't if look your like heart a looks like that, you chat. should go to the doctor. Twitch chat, 4K YouTube chat. Was that a heart or was that a thumbs up? You can just respond with Jason's a dummy if you think it was a heart. Oh, look at this, my Ezran. There's one with the SMG. Dropped the bomb. He's fading out. Took a while to pop that smoke down. But he's good and out of there. Great opening duel for Divine Vendetta. And you've got to take initiative when you run around like this with an SMG. You're the one that can take risks. Daftov taking down Ja. He'd swung around long. No support to him. And so Divine Vendetta with a two-man advantage. That easily makes up for the lack of weapons that are only on two players. Oh, that nade as well. Everything's going their way. Oh, come on. He's not even looking. The second nade had also come down to Poppy, and it is just crumbling, Jason. You throw these AKs away. They push up and get these. That's going to be extremely bad for you in the following round. Derek's going to die off, and Poppy Chu is left alone. Does have an AK, but he's got four players left to find. Tags already recovered one of his fallen teammates' weapons, and all well, now Pokemon's were to take away his. Wait, Pokemon, there was a... Okay. <laughs> he's got it in the end. So they come into that round with two SMGs. They win it with four players left alive and upgrade to four rifles, two which are AKs. That's pretty huge, I gotta say. See, that's a heart. He's taking that hole. That's the only reason we saw replays. But so what he drew before was a thumbs up. It was absolutely not. It was not. a thumbs up in like a, a winter's mitt. No. No, it was a heart. It was clearly a heart. You're just wrong, Jason. I'm surprised you even know what that is, Mitch. <laughs> oh, I'm the heartless one, am I? I think so. You're just putting your heart through punishment with all that KFC. I mean, having it once in a while. Once in... You're literally asking you order it today. That was <laughs> I'm not. I, I mean, I'm not gonna do it. 
Sure, sure. It's not because you found out you can. Oh, I easily could. Are you kidding me? Do it. Then. No. Don't be a scaredy cat. No, I I want to take care of myself. You know, I like to look after myself and then watch what I eat, Mitch. Yeah. I don't. I don't even understand what that means. <laughs> I watch what I eat as it goes into my mouth. <laughs> All right, now I think uh, Brenner watching the bolts fly into their faces. Mm-hmm. Got a deagle. Got a P250. They're gonna get one kill. But it looks like, I mean, with this pace, I even that it might have their number. I mean, we're going to see Papa Chula push into the side. He's going to be able to rescue himself a weapon. He's got to stay alive for 40 more seconds, though, to save it over. I don't think they're going to necessarily allow him to do this. They also have the bomb, and, well, Poppy's either have to play for the win or play for the save. He does have a 1v1 here. I mean, Havoc's watching the bat. Because he kills the like player at B, he could easily flink around behind them. Which is why we're seeing Divine Vendetta have to hold for different angles, but that's going to be the player type pushing up upstairs. Thoughts him out. Pokemon holding steady. And there you go. Now it'll be now a 4-0 start for Divine Vendetta, but Bren going to be back on the buy. And this is where I kind of worry for the map for Bren, because we talked about this before. T-side offing, very tough to do. And thinking back to Wits, was it Bren up against Invictus? Or was it... I think it was Invictus. I'm going to go back and look just to make sure, because I want to get it right. First team they're up against... And the first time he picks up the op, he dies to a Molotov. And we've not yeah. really seen Wits have success on Inferno when it comes to T-side. And, and I, I'm a little bit worried to see him pick it up now. However, he has been playing better. So maybe another chance here to be in my mind. By the way, Jason, uh, absolutely nobody. The results are in across Twitch and YouTube. Uh, nobody agrees with you. So How many people responded in this? Uh, we got about 20. And yeah, 20. Everyone's against you, so you're wrong. 20 is not enough to statistically oh, say they're against me. <laughs> we need like 5 million, do we? Over half the population of the Earth. Let's get let's get 4 billion people. Or it doesn't count. Fake, fake news, alright? <laughs> well, we're coming into round number 5. We're trying to have that by we've been talking about. This is what we need to see them at least have more life in than in the couple previous rounds. And with 50 seconds left, they've made progress towards top mid, but Banana's still in the CT's control. They push Ezra on back, and he's forced to play quite passive. Where is the rotate from Divine Vendetta? They're playing a very brave game, keeping the four-man stack towards that A site, but this time it might not pay off. You can see the rest of the team, the exception... Excuse me, the exception of Derek are grouped up banana. They're pushing through with oh, a sneaky play. A great position by Ezram. Oh, that's gorgeous. And he manages to take a double before being traded back. Pokemon through the smoke, but still, man advantage for Divine Vendetta. And AWP awaits, though. He's got to hit this shot. If he Oh, no, the timing. That is so bad. Oh, my heart's broken for him. This Jazz now in a 1v3 gets the first, but no idea on the last two players. I don't know if he gets his kill on a tight. I think it's going to be very possible for him. Redeem himself from Dust 2. Redeem himself from the Molotov. Tapa peeks in. He gets some good damage on him, but he's still going to fall as he gets shot through the coffin. He'll have the kit. He'll have the defuse. And Divide Vendetta will have a fifth round now. Yeah, if Wits, that timing, if he just gets that kill, that might have, that, that should have been enough to win the round. So unfortunate. To just back away at the very moment he gets beat. I'm also not sure why he would necessarily back away there. I also expected maybe a flashbang to come through because technically his banana should have been covered. I'm really not sure what the what the logic was, especially taking the knife out. Like just walk straight back off it, I guess, would be the, the better decision, but I guess it's easy to see in hindsight. Just so unfortunate for Wits. T set opping you mentioned is not as, as strong suit. He's yet to get a kill on the board. But at least with the bomb plant, they've got the investment. Looking fondly towards the A site, but what they can tell now is that Divine Vendetta like to stack up the A site. They should realize that. They killed Ezram on site after making presence banana and moving forward, and then they killed Pokemon far back CT. At that point, you m must make the the uh, read 
that if you make a presence, they full four man rotate, at least in the previous round. But this time, they're going towards it. Now, checking the back corner in time. Tyke able to pull through on a double. Again and again, Bren are falling to these kinds of duels. Good trade by Ezram. Although he gets taken down, he's dropped the bomb. He knows where it is. Poppy Chulo has been deleted. Oh, sorry, De Derek was. And so Wits is all by himself. One versus three. An AK in hand. The B-bomb site's open for him to plant, but he doesn't know that. Yeah, why did Davidov rotate here, of all places? I expect him to hold maybe back towards the new box to watch CT, because that's completely open. Yeah. 28 seconds left. Wits. He's not going to get the kill into Havoc. Too many angles to clear for him. Nevaeh Medet again another round. That's six straight on the CT side. Not looking too good here for Brad. They don't have the money to invest here either. If anything, just some pistols going to be thrown in. They definitely need to make a, a break here. They need to start picking up rounds soon. Because I don't think they can pull off, you know, 10 rounds on the CT side necessarily. No. And it's just gap after gap over towards Bren at the moment when they're pushing forward. You saw it over on the B site, the position Ezran was able to get on just outside of the first oranges. You saw it there on long, not clearing oh, into the close tight. corner. Tykes pushed down middle. Is this going to be another one of those positions where the risk reward versus pistols isn't there? Two kills, but he's lost his rifle. The money isn't great for the CT side either. I mean, this is their chance to actually build up some decent economy. Luckily, even with that M4 picked up, neither of the players have got Kevlar. So it should still be pretty easy to win out these duels. Or not. I was getting real nervous there when he said that. First kill comes through, I'm like, oh, here it is. Mitch jinxed it. Yeah. 4K with the Deagle, go ahead. Uh, was Derek still alive there? I don't, I don't know. But speaking of him, he's only on two kills. He was the big playmaker. For Bren mm -hmm. on Dust 2. One of the very reasons they're able to pull out that victory. And well, money's going to be saved up. You can see Pokemon about 9k. Davdov, he's at 9k. Zezrum and Tite going to be a little bit low on funds for now. Oh, Bren is getting low on rounds. Left here in this first half. Wits going to go for the peak right off the bat in towards the right side of mid. Doesn't spot anyone, and Davdov's going to get a kill himself. And Tite gets a spray through. And it's just all gone wrong here for Bren. I mean, that feels like we're repeating the same round over and over again in that sense. None of the strategies they're going with are working. and They're digging deep into their strap book at this point. Again, I feel like they haven't made the read about A presence leading to an A stack. Uh, the slow A presence, that is, not them just barreling forward and dying. And I think it was Pro and Poppy that were left in the previous round to pull off that clutch. Now they're here again. But the situation is pretty grim, Jason, isn't it? Yeah, very. I mean, look how much utility Divine Vendetta have left. On top of this, he's gonna flash in to go for the peak. Like not gonna peek him towards Art side. Now he's gonna peek in and Papa Chu's gonna get himself two quick kills. So a two on five into a two on three, but Avdov's still gonna be here. Even a tag on a pro should have been able to finish him off. I would have thought, but the bomb's gonna be planted. So not really a terrible round here for Bren. A very costly round for Divine Vendetta. And a pro could just sneak his way in towards pit. And his position's been given up, but he at least has a headshot angle. So they creep in their way forward. Arms T Rex and Bro. Yeah, not gonna have the angle, unfortunately. Pokemon will drop them. They should be able to recover or not for this. And that will be eight straight for Divine Vendetta. Really nice attempt by Pro. I like that he flashed and then peeked up before it popped to try and catch them as they would have been either turned around or running towards the site, but the timing didn't quite work out. They'd already closed the distance a fair bit. If he did that two seconds earlier, I think he probably gets a kill out of it. But 8-0, to zero, yeah, this is a good spot for Divine Vendetta for sure. A massive recovery on what we saw starting out on Dust 2. And we did mention that they were warming up towards the end of the map. They were looking more like themselves. They were kind of scratching our heads in that first half of Dust. And of course, you got to remember, next up is going to be Nuke. Yeah, and, Nuke... and that's a map that I think Divine Vendetta won't lose. Yeah, I do feel like getting into a third map is pretty much a, a victory uh, for DV. 
Now, look, we've seen Bren be good on it. OT versus D13 and Invictus. They lost both 19 to 16. And they beat Lucid Dream on this map. Small sample size, but decent performance, all things considered. Now, when you look over towards Divine Vendetta, well, they beat Tiger. They beat Invictus. They lost to Lucid Dream, which was odd, but in OT, they lost to Vici and Beyond. Both in OT. Altogether, with the exception of the Lucid Dream game, a very impressive showing for them. That's in this tournament alone. So I wouldn't give Bren any sort of favor on Nuke. If they're going to close it out, I want them to do it here. And they're starting to run out of faith. I mean, we've mentioned 7-1-7-0. You know, that's kind of like a line in the sand being drawn. Well, here's the buy round at 8-0. If Bren lose this, their chances of winning are incredibly low. They have to have figured out something about the CT side by now. The thing is, I don't think they have because they've just been dominated in like 1v2, 1v3 fights a lot of the time. Tyke looking to start it off the same way. Pulls away from the flash. Go! Oh, he doesn't get out of there. Now Dabdov's left with the op on site, but he's not alone. Havoc is here to support, and the rotates are on their way from B. I mentioned that they rotate very quickly towards that A site. Look at that. B's been open for like a good 10, 15 seconds while they hadn't seen Bren on top mid for about the same. Dabbed off. Oh, the timing on that. Pro just setting up for Flash. Havoc's have some company. Jog is tagged down to 9 HP. I think Dabbed off just hits an insane quick scope there. Now 4 on 2. They haven't been able to back any of these, these these attacks up. Haven't been able to trade out these kills. And about now both pushing from short where Havoc's already waiting for them. Flashman comes through. Derek's going to fall. Now Wits left alone. He's going to drop. And now 9 0. Divine Vendetta. They're on a war path to take it to that third map of new. Now there is just no quarter being given right now. For Bren, I don't know how they come in with a smile on their face after this one. No one's looking like Dan King. He's about the only player that'd be smiling in this situation. And again, I do love the Tyler. We get to see it tomorrow once more. The Tyloo lineup picture. Because it's not just that Dan King smiles so much. It's that left to right. Dan King smiles. And the next is like kind of smiling. The middle's neutral. Then slightly angry. And then attacker's looking like he wants to kill you. You don't want to piss off that. Oh god, no. We've seen that. If his neutral face is angry. Imagine <laughs> what his angry face is. You won't like him when he's angry. That's for sure. Well, they get some initial ground towards B for Bren. They got Pro pushed up with the AK. We're still seeing the two players out Divine Vendetta with Pokemon and Ezra here to defend this. They actually run out of utility themselves. It's kind of weird. Considering how early into the round we are still. And honestly, Divine Vendetta have no info, like anywhere. They're at the mercy of Bren and where they want to go. So. Quick, uh, a quick paced play it might be exactly what they need to start to take these these sites. They don't really have the weaponry in this round to do it too cleanly. That's what I'm worried about here, Mitch. Twenty five seconds. I'm worried about the time on the clock. Poppy, what what is going on? He's hitting shots after shot, but they've got to get that bomb planted. Now it's down in the open. 16 seconds remaining, and every kill goes the way of Divine Vendetta. Wit's got to do it all. A P250, a dream, but no success. And 10-0 to 0 we go. Is there a moment there that they say, all right, let's just go A. He just got two kills with the Deagle. I wonder if they would have had time. I think it was around like 25 seconds left, so most likely not. Look at this. Comes and gets the first. He takes on Havoc right after. Is this Derek? Is that you? 20 seconds. Yeah, I think they would have had to leave. Uh... Oh, yeah. I don't think they would have made it. Not from top and Attic. The bomb was already up around the corner past car. Right. Yeah, they, they were forced to commit. And the problem is we're going for that play so late. Not only can you not rotate A, but you're not going to drag any rotates either. So you're relying on that B push still working as is. Whereas if you do that 
20 seconds earlier into the round, you can actually get yourself over towards the... Uh, you can drag rotates or you can rotate back to A yourself. Zero decoys. I am disappointed, Pokemon. <laughs> Kidding, of course. Don't need any angry messages from their fans again. <laughs> you idiot decoys aren't useful. You bloody fool. <laughs> yeah, oh. this might be one of the most one-sided maps we're going to have. We did have a, was a 14-1 out of Tyloo yesterday. Yep. And at this rate... Ooh. Ren hasn't really shown up here on this map. However, of course, as I talk about it, maybe they're going to be able to take the first run here. The problem is the bomb's still back down towards T Apartments. And Havoc's still waiting for them to come flying out. Ezra gets the kill on the backside. They have no bomb. And Pro's left alone now on a one on three. You get the kill on the Havoc as he's about to drop down in towards Pit. Where the bomb is. Nowhere to be seen. The bomb was outside T Apps as well. So there was uh, very little chance of him actually getting back there and picking that up. The one thing he had going for him is that maybe they'd still push him, right? Because they'd imagine he has the bomb. So they would have faced. But 11 to 0, Jason. I'm... And I'm glad we made the point that there was a decent chance the Divine Vendetta would come back into this one. That they were one bit towards the end. That this map was deceptively bad for them. It looks like it's bad. But it's not. Would that be deceptively good? No, deceptively bad, right? Um, because obviously, even though they've only lost it out of the five times they've played, we mentioned it was beyond Tyloo, Vici, Invictus that they played. And with the exception of Tyloo, they were... No, they were actually all pretty clear. It was the beyond game of 16-7. Everything else was above 16-11. They almost beat Vici here. It went the full 30 rounds. So it's a map that they are very good on. And that was why when Bren picked it, I was questioning it and thinking, well, maybe they just glanced at the map pool and went, oh, look, 0% win rate for them. Easy win. And didn't actually think contextually about what that meant. Or who they played. Well, it's all about context, right? Exactly. How far they've gotten with really no... Nothing really being shown. I... Yeah, he's going to be in for a swift surprise Havoc again. Actually peeks over and towards short. Gets two. Will fall. Pokemon's now still going to be alive against the last two players. Gets some really good damage in Pro down to 16 HP. And Pro will be able to pick him off. But now Pro's left alone against two. Luckily for him, Azram's low. And Davidov's not in a position to stop him. He's going to make his way in towards the site. Hey, it's how, how do you plant here? Azram's going to hear it. No matter what, there's a risk oh. taken. He exposes himself to the apartments and he'll realize his mistake as the op shot rings out. And 12 to 0 comes on the board. Oh man, oh man. You see, the whole thing about Divine Vendetta's win rate is like, you could, you could have played Nuke five times. You could have lost it every single time. But if you, if all five were against Astralis, well... Then you gotta kind of take a step back and say, well, if it was 16-14 every time, you're actually a pretty good nuke team, even though you've never won it. So I don't know. I think Bren, as we said, it was a very Divine Vendetta favored veto. I think they made a big mistake when it came down to actually picking the maps. I would have much rather, well, I would have, would have rather than pick Mirage. Obviously, that was already uh, out of the, or Dust 2, sorry. That was already out of the question. But even bringing it to an overpass somewhere that we don't see... Uh, oh, sorry, that had been removed by Divine Vendetta, but then even a train. Somewhere we don't see Divine Vendetta play all too often. It would have yeah, been nice. I mean, you take it as an opportunity to, like, work on some of your maps, right? Yeah. Not like, it changes your fate at all, and you get some live match experience. I it's and a team that you need stomp. to... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Inferno's not not look, not shaping up too well. The, Obviously, uh, play is hardened. We mentioned Divine Vendetta look good, blah blah blah, but we did not think that they would look this good. This is definitely surprising, to say the least. Flashes, Jaw trying to set things up, and Wits, unfortunately, he's gonna fall before the flash is even thrown. 
Poke off towards Arch. Library's open though. So I'm a little bit worried, but Ashram's gonna fall. You should know second player's here because Dadov had the off. Dadov, oh, that quick scope I thought it was gonna hit onto Bro, and not even the no scope will land. But they still don't have the site technically because there's still two players in pit. Jaw gets the first. I'm not sure if he's expect Tyke to be here. And maybe we're finally gonna have the first round here for Bren. There we go. Jaw takes him out. Now Pokemon left alone, and finally Bren. After 12 rounds, we'll get there first. And funny enough, being 12 up, uh, 12 0 up, look at the money for Divine Vendetta. The rounds haven't really been that clean. No, they absolutely haven't. The reality is, from this point, though, Bren need to win every single round. They've got to come through with the 12 3 half. If they do. They're still probably going to lose, but they have the smallest chances of bringing it back. Jason, you, you don't think they'll quite be able to make 10 rounds on the CT side. Well, they're going to have to make 12 just to guarantee themselves an OT if they win every round from this point forward. And those are a lot of ifs. You can see the slow pace they're approaching the round with, knowing the weight that it carries. In towards the apartments, two players look for a skirmish, and banana control will be sought after slowly. It does not honestly worry me, because Bren are the kind of team that have already lost a round because of the clock over on Dust 2, and a lot more came pretty close. We saw their T-side attacks be in the last 20 seconds already on Inferno, not allowing them to rotate after opening duels on A. I want to see them get into these rounds a little bit earlier. It feels like they either have play the whole clock down or just rush a part of the map. And those are their mm. two paces. And they got off. two speeds. Yeah. Tyke. Tyke. That should have been a trade for Derek. It was eventually going to shut him down, but still it's the two on three. They have to clear out Pip. 30 seconds left. They have a smoke and a Molotov and that's it. Havoc has his own smoke to put this Molotov out. They throw it on top of him. Actually, you know, for the peak first, takes Wits down, doesn't expect it. And now Pro's gonna fall too. The bounce back round. We come in for Divine Vendetta 13 to 1. We're into the last round of the half. It's gonna be so tilting. Or I, I guess either team, Divine Vendetta or Bren. If somehow Bren pull it back, that's still lose in the end. Yeah, yeah. And if you're Bren here, just kind of like, all right, well, let's just uh, move on. Let's just go straight to nuke. Don't make me it's bring the supermarket up again. What's that? Don't make me bring the supermarket up again. <laughs> the. Uh... I don't feel like players should ever really have that attitude. Now, there's absolutely no doubt that a lot of teams do. But I don't think it's an attitude you should have. Realistically, if Divine Vendetta get 13-2, uh, 14-1, no reason Brian can't do it. We've seen those comebacks in this tournament alone. Actually, we've seen this those comebacks this week. Uh, or even yesterday. To bring in more reason. But, and look, some of the rounds have been close for sure. They've kept Divine Vendetta's economy low. You know, they're never up on 10 or 16K. But the problems, I think, run deeper than, uh, than just getting these rounds close. It's just disgusting. Again and again, it seems like one of the players in Divine Vendetta is able to get themselves into a situation where they found two kills. I mean, I would be surprised now. I want to look at the HLTV scoreboard and see where we're at. So coming into round number 13... There were, oh man, Davdov. So th this is the number of rounds where the player has found two or more kills. First of all, they lost two opening duels in the first 13 rounds. And after that, five rounds for Davdov, four for Pokemon and for Havoc, three for Tyke, two for Ezram. And a lot of those were even 3Ks. So that, <laughs> you just can't win a game if you're allowing them so much individual freedom like that. Whereas there's been a total, just wait for this, a total of six rounds where one of the players on Bren has found two kills or more. Six. I 
Kind of makes and, sense when they've only won one round. Yeah. It shouldn't be like that for them. All right, off to a decent start CT side. Lavdov came in with a nice kill on the Wits, but again, these are all into Pokemon on the one on three. He's got a P250 at least. He's got a couple of shots to really hit. Bomb to recover. The longer he waits, the more time the Siege is going to use to rotate in and protect this bomb. Oh, Pokemon. Please, don't. I mean, he's not expecting that. Oh, oh my god, that should not happen! <laughs> Three on oh. one! Solo peek him every time! Oh. Mitch! That's hurt me. That's actually hurt me. Talking about 2k plus rounds. Jeez, that's ridiculous. Did they even get a single bullet off? I don't think Pro did. Oh, right, he did. He right hit there. him. Hit him in the shoulder. But also, of those rounds with the two, uh, two or more kills, the six rounds out of the first thirteen, two of them were in that round that they won because uh, obviously it counts if uh, two players find a two K in one round. That that counts as two rounds. Um, that's just nuts. It's just nuts. For Divine Vendetta, they're coming into this round where they can genuinely 16-1. They can give us the most one-sided map by a long shot that we've seen in this tournament. Papi Chulo, though, mag seven headshots Tyke out of this universe to pull it back at least a little bit more. But they realize that he's pushed A, so they just go and take the A control. You can have T-apps. We'll take the A site. Look at Pokemon. Sneaky beaky like there he is. 23 for three at the moment. Oh my god. Jason, it was a four on three. Now the bomb's planted and Bren have to retake with a man disadvantage. SMG going to make sure it's a two man. And uh, let's get our GGs in chat. Let's get the analyst back on. Vlad Dinko, how you doing? <laughs> Just bring them in now. Come on. I'm hoping they're there. <laughs> I don't think they expected that to be such a close match. Or sorry, one sided match. 16-1. All right. Well, uh, hopefully we're not going to break this down too much because I don't think there really is much to say about All that. Right, we've got a I think that's 15 minute analyst test segment. Uh, blah, start now. Let's go. Uh, absolutely <laughs> freaking. What's, what's with Dico's hair? Is he just like know. he's had enough? <laughs> Just like, just like uh, Divine Vendetta, he's going super I was, super I was sitting like this in my in my chair watching that Pokemon play, and then I just have no oh. idea how this has happened. What well, what has gone on? Uh, of course, you guys get the the closest, the more.